Hey everybody, it's not Jimmy and Bill, it's Jimmy <laughs> and Andrew. So let me tell you a little bit about Andrew. Me and him grew up together. We've known each other over 40 years. We went to grade school together. We grew up in the same town, Island Park, New York. And what happened is after we got out of school, he went to California. So what this video is about is California versus Florida because I've been running into a lot of people here in in Florida moving here when I'm doing the inspections saying that from California so we have California people coming here so I visit California many times but I never lived there that's why I never did a pros and cons of California but Andrew did live in California so we're gonna talk about that today so do me a favor if you like this kind of content consider subscribing it really really helps out the channel plus me setting up for this video, I deleted two really good videos. Sorry, Bill. We're going to have to redo those things. <laughs> so, Andrew, tell me a little bit. How long have you been living in California? I lived in California for 22, 24 years. All right. So you have a good sense of it. Oh, very good sense of it, especially being in the business I was in. Right. So... You were, we're going to go over everything and we're going to touch on the business that you were in. And now Andrew lives in Florida. So now he has a taste. He hasn't been in Florida that long, but I've been in Florida a really, really long time. So, so let me ask you some questions really good. Okay. Shoot. Climate. Okay. Where do you like the climate better? California or Florida. And I know you get people are going to say, hey, there's Northern California and there's Southern California, two totally different climates. And I understand that. Like there's South Florida and, you know, Miami and there's the Panhandle, you know, two different climates. But overall, California definitely has Florida beat when it comes to climate um, for two reasons. One, very low humidity. So even when it's 114 degrees, it's you could still be out in a long sleeve shirt and jeans and you're not sweating. You go outside in shorts and a t-shirt in Florida and it's 91 and you're dripping wet. The reason why we're recording inside is because he can't handle the heat yet. Oh. He's, he's been here almost a year and he cannot handle it. it is too when hot. me and Bill are out there doing the videos, I am dying of sweat, but I don't show it. But <laughs> he's like, I can't shoot a video outside, I'll, I'll melt. So basically, California? Yeah, the, you have a very low humidity if uh, like, you know, 20% to maybe 40 on a high end. And... Like, all right, for a good number of years, I remember from 2004 or 05 to about 2011 or 9, somewhere around it, it didn't rain. I mean, I didn't see rain for literally for probably seven years. What part of California are you? Uh, we're talking like Los Angeles, you know, which, so that's Southern California. Um, it did not, we had a, it was 2004 or 2005, we had a massive February storm. All of February it rained. And then it stopped, and it didn't rain again, I'm serious, for maybe five to seven years. Not one day of rain. All right, so California wins that one. Oh, yeah. Well, hands down. All right. <laughs> cost of living. How does the cost of living differ between the two states, particularly in the items of housing, groceries, and utilities? Okay. Housing is definitely more expensive in California. Okay. But, you know, you're going to... What you buy here in Florida for, say, three to $500,000, you're going to probably pay close to a million dollars for in California. But the difference is, if you bought a house in Florida for that same price, you can't. You bought it on a Monday. You can't sell that house comes this Saturday. You might be stuck with that house for six months to two years. You could buy a house in California on a Monday for a million dollars. You can probably turn it over in seven days for 1.2. I don't understand that. I mean, I don't know the People, real estate. I don't know the real estate market in California, but I don't see a benefit like I see some of the houses like 1.5 before when you came here to record this I went out to Zillow and I looked some houses like two million dollars and I'm talking and about and they're it. not even nice houses no they're like a hundred fifty thousand dollar house here they're like little junk hundred yeah. thousand square foot houses when the real estate crash happened across the country and what was that like 207 209 something yeah. around there okay so everybody in the country was losing their shirt and in at least Los Angeles I will say you could sell, you could ask for more money for your house and get it. I have a friend who literally was in a bidding war for a house that started out at $780,000. And by the time she got, she bought it, she bought it for nine hundred and ninety. dollars There was a bidding war going on to get it. Wow. That's, that, in California, everybody wants to 
whether you like the politics or not, everybody wants to live. We're going to touch on politics, but everybody with money in California is moving out. Well, because they're getting taxed to death. So, um, but who's buying these houses? Uh, Who in their right mind will buy these houses in California? Uh, I don't know. To be honest with you, people got... See, here's the thing. California is based on, like, a different sort of economy. Most of the money comes from tech or entertainment. Like, it's very hard to find anyone that... Like, you can find a cop and a fireman and a school teacher, but it's very hard to find a lot of other yeah, occupations. Yeah, but tech is leaving. A lot of tech is leaving to taxes. And a lot of entertainment... You're in the business. Uh, you tell me. But, it's, like, in Georgia... A lot of filming's going to Georgia from California. Well, California itself never had a lot of filming within it. Mm -hmm. Like, the permits were always down, and so you'll go to other places and shoot because you need those locales. Like, a lot of things get done in New York because every every corner is another story. So, but all the work comes back to California to get, you know, the editing, the sound mixing, the color correction, the mastering. It all gets done there because you have all the studios, uh, you have all the talent, now the talent, because now that we're working, been working for the last like two to three years remotely, talent is starting to spread around. So you will get people that are editors or cameramen or whatever. So they'll and live that's in another, what you do. You yeah, do film editing. I do editing, and so I can live in another state because it's all remoted into mm -hmm. a set of drives in Los Angeles. Or actually, these days you can be in uh, Washington. It can be the drives can be, or they can be in Virginia, wherever there's a, a, a server farm. Meaning, like, you know, where Google has all their servers or Yahoo or whatever, because they're renting space on those. So, technically, so, they could be in France. They could be. You know? All right, so let's talk about that a little bit. The job market. Okay. Do you, how hard is it to get jobs out there? Because well, like, right now, it's hard for a lot of people because they're not making a lot of shows. You know, so there's a. There's well, a, not even just the shows. Like, listen, I've been do, doing a little research before you came here, and like Santa Monica, you know, is a dump. Is going downhill like yeah. empty store after empty store yeah. after empty store. Like they're not, you know, crime, just theft, just everything. It's just a total disaster. So how are people, you know, finding jobs and being able to afford these million dollar houses? Well, a lot of people that have those. See, all right, let's break down California. California is based on two cultures. It's either you own a house or you rent in an apartment. Okay. Now, there are tons of apartments in California, and, and Los Angeles alone, tens of thousands of them everywhere. Uh, and those are, a lot, a lot of them are rent-controlled, and a lot of them aren't, and people sometimes have two and three roommates, you know, you're a writer, or I'm an editor, and our friend is a director, and, the th and we're all young, and we all live together kind of thing in a three-bedroom townhouse, you know, three-bedroom, three-bath, and it goes for $5,000 a month. You know, each of us kicks in fifteen hundred bucks or whatever it is. It works out, and you get a lot of that. But on the other hand, too, a lot of people make good money, especially if you're in entertainment. Entertainment people make money, and legal lawyers make really good money. So there is a lot of money generated. So basically, okay, so cost of living, Florida wins. I just want to keep track uh, of this. I can't really say that because, like, Florida is expensive. It's not the Florida that it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Oh, no, no, ago. I'm not saying I mean, that. I food, mean, food is actually more expensive here than it is in Los Angeles. Really? Yeah, like, you go into McDonald's here. I know the news will say, you know, $13 Big Mac, and that's true. Well, don't yeah, because they, in California, they're yeah. doing $20 yeah. an hour. I mean, don't get me wrong, but you were able to go to, like, a college junior, which here is Hardee's, and you'd get, like, two famous stars for $4. You know, and you don't see that here. You get, um, in California, they'll have a lot of deals where, like, you can get a large un iced tea every day for a buck, any size. And here it's $1.59. You know, so a loaf of bread, you know, could be like, literally a loaf of white bread from a Ralph's can be like $1.99 or whatever. And here the same loaf from a Publix is like two sixty nine. dollars All right. And the one reason why is Publix is privately owned. It's owned by the employees. So All right. that's why things are more expensive. All right, so basically you're saying cost of living is about the same as Florida? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, job market, do you think... Like, I know in Florida it's difficult to find a job outside hospitality right now. Yeah. But there's some tech moving in. I don't know the job market in California. Well, California has a, a vast architect, like, because they have petroleum. Mm -hmm. You know, they have technology. They have agriculture they have dairy you know because the, the state is enormous you know it's basically yeah. the whole side of the country yeah, yeah. Um, so they have a lot more and they used to have you know Tropicana and all that Sunkist and all the oranges which they don't have anymore but you don't have them here anymore either right um, so like you do have opportunity for that 
where here, like, I don't, what does Florida actually produce? Well, we still have orange groves, you know, we have a lot of fish. Fishing is a big industry okay. here. Yes, you know, and as it is out but there. But hospitality, Disney, yeah. Universal, Bush yeah. Gardens, stuff like that. Okay, let's talk about this one. Political climate, okay? How does the political landscape in California compare it to Florida? And, like, to me, Florida is more conservative and California is more liberal. Am I, is that a wrong statement no, to say that? No, that's 100% correct. California has been, I don't even know, 30 to 50 years of one side party rule. And when you only have one ruling class, things just steamroll into destruction. The nothing ever gets changed. Like they will throw more money at homeless, like billions of dollars, and get nothing solved. And the next year come around and say, we need another $2 billion, and they do it. Now, Florida, on the other half, is more conservative, more Republican. And it, never, and it, it, it wasn't like that for a long time. No, not for, for a It was always kind of like a 50-50 maybe. Or yeah, yeah. Little, it, was, it was a state Cal, thing. Going California way. was all one-sided, literally one-sided. To find a Republican in California, you have a better chance of winning the Powerball. So why are so many... Okay, let's, let me ask you this question because you moved here. Why are so many California people, including you, moving to Florida if California has, you know, some benefits to it? Okay, I moved for a different reason. You than moved every, for, for your mother. Yeah, my mother, yeah, because she wouldn't move to California, so I moved here. Because I've owned the house here for 37 years. Yeah, but let's just say that wasn't a situation, yeah. okay? If you didn't run into that situation, would you... No, I would have never moved to Florida. You would have never moved to no, Florida? No, I would have never left California. Why? What do you miss in California? Oh well, besides the the weather, the climate. Yeah. Um. There's. It's amazing. I mean, you can go surfing. You know, not that I surf. I used to, but I don't anymore. You can go surfing like six, seven in the morning. You can go skiing by noon. I mean, you go for a forty. You go from the San Fernando Valley to Mount Baldy, and you could be you know skiing in the same day. And now that's not all year round, but that's, you know, pretty much the winter into the summer months. Okay, so I, I know California's a big state, and I can't say, hey, you know what, where you live in Los Angeles, crime compared to where you live here. Because, you know... I think crime, crime is... Overall, overall. Uh, well, I watch, a, I see the news a lot here, and I see a lot of crime going on here. And that's just because Florida is more centralized, like things are a lot closer... So you're going to see more crime. I, I personally haven't seen any crime here. Um, I've seen crime in California, though. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've seen it happen. Um, so, and California has a, a, a big crime problem. But that problem is kind of like a lot of those people are actually leaving, too. Because well, there's, there's not enough there's, places to rob. No, no more people to rob. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I just, they're, they're, they're branching out, you know. I Listen, I love visiting California. I used to go there all the time to go fishing in San Diego. Oh, and San, I love San Diego. San Diego is, that's another country. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, I, I went beautiful. I went to San Francisco and I thought it was bad back then. I heard now it's even worse. San Francisco is, is You know, is going destroyed. down, yeah, destroyed. Why do you think they're destroying these, why do you think the California government's allowing these cities and towns control almost, I have a theory. It will go, go for it. It's All probably right, my is, same theory as This me. is my theory. My theory is they're going to take San Francisco and they're going to make it into a garbage dump, okay? Okay. Or Santa Monica, whatever. They're going to, in certain areas, they're going to make it into a garbage dump. Then investors are going to come in. Then they're going to buy everything, pennies on the dollar. And then they're going to clean it all up and the values are going to go up. I think it's a big conspiracy. <laughs> well, uh, put it this way, and you're probably not too far off the mark. To I think they're doing it on purpose to drive everybody yeah, out, well, drive values down. Well, that's true. I mean, you, you you wonder about like when that portion of Hawaii that went on fire, and you know it was like the poor part and the, the rich parts that are on the outskirts. No flames ever made it to that. So it's yeah, you, you're not far off the mark. But it's all about control. Who's and, trying to control it? Well, the Democrats that run the place. You know, like a Gavin Newsom, and it's like it's all about control. I mean. I don't want to get political. No, here, we can't but it's get like, political on this channel yeah, because but it's I like, get blown but, up. Yeah, no, but it's like when you, if if people need to rely on you, you know, then they're going to vote for you and they're going to keep you in power, and that's what they do. So, and if you let some people, you know, if you, if you let the lunatics run the facility, 
they're not going to bother you. You know, they're going to do what they want to do. And when it comes time to vote, you're going to say, hey, I let you lunatics run the facility. Vote me back in. You can continue to do what you're doing. They're going to go right to the ballot box and they're going to pull for that person again. And it's there's no consequences. Like they let, you know, there's people who should never go to jail, go to jail. And people who should be in jail for life are walking the streets. All right. Let's talk about taxes. Well, tax as in property taxes? No, let's talk about income tax. Okay. Because uh, property taxes, uh, believe it or not, in California, I think are cheaper. Yes, they're way cheaper. And that's way cheaper than Florida. I think it was, what, Prop 13 or something like that? The Prop, whatever they call it, was uh, back in the 70s or something? Yeah, my something. cousin lives in California. Yeah. When they found, when they told me what they pay... Yeah, you can have like a million taxes. dollar house and be paying like $1,800 a year. In yeah, I could, I could have believed it. Yeah, yeah. It's you true. know? God's honest truth, yeah. But I'm talking about income tax. Well, they, they have a high income tax... Um, um, but then again, people, I don't want to say everyone, but a good majority of the people in certain you know areas do make a lot of money. Lawyers get paid very well. School teachers get paid very well. But listen, they're, they're like a sanctionary, you know, a lot of people are moving in there that don't have the education to be a lawyer or a doctor. No. Or, or, or. But there's opportunity if you want to seize the moment because there's a lot that can be done. Just like, all right, Florida, you have people who clean pools. You know, pool cleaners. Now, if you're a small pool cleaner you and you actually figure out your business and you really understand it upside down and backwards, you can make a lot of money. The problem is, is they don't want to do that. They got their 35 customers and they're happy. You take a pool cleaner in California, which everyone has one. Very few people want to clean their own pool. Never mind skim it, but clean it. And the pool cleaners do rather well for themselves because they actually are doing a service and they're doing it for people who have money. And... There's a big difference between money and time. I just don't understand why, if you have that much money, okay, this is my philosophy, you have that much money and you're smart because you made that money, a lot of, you know, you made that money, mm -hmm. why are you staying in California? Because you're making even more. Because <laughs> like... it, it, it comes down to a perception. See, if you're, if you're a lawyer... Right. And say you're a, uh, an entertainment lawyer because I, I know about them. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be an entertainment lawyer in Chicago or Miami and expect to do the same kind of business you do if you were living in Beverly Hills. Because you, you have to be around that whole entire environment, you know, out of sight, out of mind. You know, so if you so if you leave, people are going to forget you. People are going to forget you. <laughs> yeah. So, no, but it, and it's the truth. Like, look at fast food restaurants. Not to change the subject, but, like, if McDonald's doesn't advertise, you see McDonald's everywhere, and you say to yourself, why does McDonald's have to advertise? Out of sight, out of mind. If little kids don't see that on the TV screen, and people don't see it, they forget about it. And they'll go to the Steak and Shake, or the Wendy's, or whatever. So, you're const you have to be in the element. You're constantly pushing right. it. Let's talk about public transportation, okay? Okay. The they, don't, they have a horrible transportation well, system. Well, they, they have, like, the red line, the blue line, the Yeah, but so does line. Florida. Florida yeah. has a horrible transportation yeah. So let me ask you this question. The car, cars are cheaper there. They're trying to make everybody go electric over well, there. Well, yes and no. They, I don't, mean, even have, uh, uh, they don't even have power to power They don't power even have power it, to power it up. They don't even have power to power houses. I guess you guys can tell I'm not going to move to California yeah. anytime soon. But, but here's, here's the deal. See, California, because it has uh, such a car-driven culture, like you have to have a car or a motorcycle to get everywhere, you can go to places, you know, car dealerships, and they all run, I mean... I remember I leased a Prius about 10 years ago uh, to go onto the studio. Well, lot. isn't that the Prius you have to have it there? Well, it I guess so. But I, I used to have a truck. I had it. I had I had an Escalade, and I was go and I was always getting looks. You know, when I go on the studio you're in California. lot. Yeah, and I was on the studio lot, so I was like, all right, I got to get a get something that's more you know going to fit in. So I went to the to a local Toyota dealer, and I was thinking I was going to get hit. You know, a couple hundred dollars a month. And the guy was like, nah, he's like, it's $87, $3,000 down and $87 a month for a two-year lease. And I was like, "Really? oh my God, I go, that's like less than $1,200 a year. I'm spending thirty six or 4000 just in gas on my Escalade. Yeah, I can imagine if I drove my F-250 there, how many looks I would get. Yeah. So are you, since you, you sound like California is a better state than Florida. Which it's, is, which well, is, it's, which it's is not. Cool. It's okay. It's not. It's honestly not. To be honest with you. California and Florida are the same exact place. Just get rid of the humidity. 
Okay, the same exact place. Because a lot of people are going to say, well, go back to California. Well, they are. <laughs> and you want to know what's funny? Most of the people in Florida aren't even from Florida. No, they're from New York. And most of the people from California aren't from California. Yeah, since I deleted two videos, we're going to do another video, New York versus Florida. And that Florida is turning into, I call Florida South New York, believe right. it or not. You're, it's, I, I call it like stupid island because there's a lot of people here from Long Island. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I, I can't even tell you how many people we went to school with that uh, are un, here. Unbelievable. Um, I now, have people two blocks away from me that I went to school with. Unbelievable. Well, it's... So yeah. are you moving back to California? No. Why? Well, like, A, my mom will never leave. So it's like... Okay, so, let's just say in yes, the future. Yeah. Put it this way, in, no, to be honest with you, if I was to ever move... You move I'd, back to New York? No, no, never move back to New York. I'd probably go to a foreign country. I, I really would. Yeah. I, I, whether like, it would be, like my cousin did. Yeah, whether it would be Greece or the Philippines or Vietnam or somewhere. So, yeah, I'm just saying we're like, Listen, you know... It's, I, 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 I've been talking to Tanya, you know, uh, about moving to Greece and living overseas for a little bit, yeah. you know. Um, trying to convince her. Yeah. You know, maybe I, you know, I'll accomplish it. Who no, knows? it's, it's, you know, you can get a, I know in Greece, you can get a very good bang for your buck. Yeah. You know, very good. Even if you just go for vacation, you, you can go there. I mean, the plane ticket's going to be expensive, but when you get there to, to stay for a month, what, for a thousand or fifteen hundred bucks, you'll live like a king. So what's your reason for not going back to California in a nutshell? Um, cause things have changed so much. In California. Yeah. They've changed a lot. Even in the four years, three and a half years that I haven't been there. Okay. So he, he's, he's done a one you got to pick one winner, Florida or California. As of today? As of today. Okay. To be honest with you, if I had to pick the winner, I'm sorry, California. It goes with Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That's today's video. But hey, check out this video over here. I think you'll like it. And we're about to shoot another video since I deleted two videos. We're going to shoot five videos today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.